happy friends I have a sketching it up with Megan and Hannah layout for you today and I know I have been super super busy haven't I I have been working on a podcast so if you guys don't know I am the founder and creator starter of the crafty maven getaway channel and we just started a podcast so up on podbean is our first podcast i'll make sure i have a link below for it in case you're interested in listening to me and tanya who is also on our design team chat away about crafty things and we will be putting out a episode once every two weeks for right now so right now you are watching me just do some splatters. I made some silver paint with some of my Miriam Smith Color Lab stuff. And that green that I'm using is a minty green that is cracked pistachio and a pearlized white paint. I really wanted to keep it nice and light and the pearlized is almost clear. I did use gesso on the background, and this is American's Craft. It's the, the really, I want to say shiny, but it's not shiny. It's the, the smooth one. It's not the one with all the ridges. And then I didn't, I wanted something a little darker, so I added some of the spray that I had from the Miriam Smith Color Lab that I had made up. I really like those sprays because you can make your own and you know you get the powders. It's probably a lot like the some of the Tim Holtzy type or Ranger type powders and stuff. But it's just fun to kind of play with. The only thing is is you have to know that you don't want to make too much or otherwise you'll have a lot of a color that maybe you wouldn't use a lot of and I'll say it's not like color shine so it's a lot thinner and I'm also using my hip kit this is the November hip kit it's very Christmassy and fun and I went through all my Facebook pictures because before I started scrapbooking, I did not think a lot about storage for my photos. And even though I had backup copies of many of my photos, they were all in random places. And I could probably get to a majority of them. They are on like a hard drive, like an external, but the external had fallen, so we have to you know, go to like Best Buy or whatever and see if we can get them recovered. So it's not like I couldn't get them, but it's just more of a pain in the butt. So I will say my little disclaimer or my little tidbit of knowledge <laughs> um, is just to remind you guys to make sure that you're backing all your photos up. You know, the holidays are coming and we're going to be taking tons more photos and, you know, just remember to back up your photos. Make sure that you have a nice backup system. Um, I also keep a lot of stuff, you know, like on my iCloud too. I mean, but it only holds so much. So, like, even having something like a Dropbox account that you pay like five bucks, you know, just remembering that having backups of stuff that you really don't want to lose because I know that these photos of my kids when they were really little and I wasn't scrapping are really to me are priceless and I really hate that I have to go on Facebook and get a copy that is not some of them like some of the ones that I printed off this last time I really had to work in you know my editor to just try to get a good copy of it because I wanted to be able to scrap some of them and I had to lighten them up and I mean this one turned out pretty well because the lighting was already decent so I was able to get some lighting but 
Anywho, so, you know, just remember to try to back up your photos and, you know, I try to every once in a while go through my photos and get rid of the ones that are crappy that I'm not going to use because otherwise you have like, what, a thousand photos sitting on your computer and it doesn't do you any good to have photos that you're not going to scrap. I mean, it really doesn't. It just takes up space. <laughs> so... But this is a photo of my daughter, Leilani, and she's my oldest, so she's seven now. And this was when she was not quite, she was a little bit over one or about one. Probably a little bit over because she is born in September and this is in the winter time. I'm not even sure exactly the date. So when I go and I put the date on later, I'm just going to put a generic like winter and the year. It's not really that big of a deal what part of the year, even though I will say we moved. So the second part of, you know, winter of that year will really be not where we are here. But anyway. And this layout really didn't take me that much. I think I took a lot of time looking for stuff and I did kind of edit some of that out because I spent a lot of time playing with that oh dear. I really, I really wanted to make it work, but I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted it. And because I was going with the sketch, it had like the tags and stuff over on there, but I just didn't really care for it there. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to put some of this stuff over on the sides to make it balanced and to have some stuff and to use some stuff. I mean, I don't want it just to be paper. I want embellishments on there too. And I love these Pink Fresh Studio, like the deers and everything. They're so cute. But really in the end, I couldn't make it work. And this layout isn't really about Christmas. I mean, it's just winter time and my daughter... I was pregnant at the time, so I was going to a lot of doctor's appointments and we'd have to drive like an hour out to my appointments because that's where my doctor was. And so in the winter, you know, we had to get all dressed up because it's cold in New York. So you get all dressed up just to go in the car and get hot. And then when you get there, you're cold because you're it's cold outside. But um, it was a really cold winter. And so we did a lot of bundling up, but she was always so excited to get in the mittens and to see the snow. And I'm really glad that she was able to see snow, even though she doesn't remember it. Because now it's been so long since we've been near snow. I mean, when we were in El Paso, we had a little bit of snow, like a dusting, but nothing that really meant anything to them so yeah so it's just fun to have a layout of <laughs> of her that I could actually use some of this wintery stuff on but she just looks so cute with that hat and she had my mittens on and or my gloves but she just looks so cute and one of the photos she's smiling and one she's not and I did use that that frame was from Pink Fresh Studio. I really felt like the frame worked really well to <clears throat> highlight her smiling. And I really didn't do too much extra to the actual sketch. I tried to follow it a little bit. I mean, I didn't go crazy with how they had their layers. I just layered it. And, and in the layout, it had some sketches stitching and if I had a um you know sewing machine I would have did this all by hand but I didn't so I have some scruptastic stamps that have some like faux stitching on them and I use that I thought that that would look make it look kind of cute and then these um silvery pieces from a hip kit are so cute oh my gosh so I'm going to use some of the snowflakes because when else am I gonna I'm not really probably gonna use any more of the snowflakes <laughs> actually that's not true I think I have one more set of photos that actually has snow in it so I'll probably save them for those 
And I'm going to name, name the title Sparkle and Shine. I wasn't really sure what I was going to name it at the beginning, and I don't really know if it necessarily has a whole lot to do with the layout. Maybe if I had gotten or thought about it more, I could have had a better title, but you know. I can't always have award-winning titles. <laughs> and really, in the end, my family isn't going to care because they really just want to see the photos. They don't really care if the title is bad, so it doesn't bother me. And then I'm just going to finish up with some enamel dots, and these are from the kit, too. So a lot of the stuff that I used was from the kit. I think I just added a couple of extra things, um, some of the bits that I used in the layering. And that silver frame was from a die that I have. And then this is it. So I hope you guys go and check out Megan's layout and see how she interpreted the sketch. I can't wait to see what she did. And I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys later. Bye.